Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sean Purgaul. I'm an osteopath and today I will speak to you about different types of osteopathic education around the world. The first type of uh, osteopathic education is for osteopathic physicians and uh, that is very similar to medical education and is offered only in the United States. Uh, students study four years osteopathic medicine. Before that, they need to have three or four years a bachelor's degree from a university. And after that, they can go into residency. They have the same scope of practice as a physician, as a medical doctor in the United States. And the only schools of osteopathic medicines are found in the uh, United States. There is no other school anywhere in the world. Anywhere else that osteopathy is taught, they teach manual osteopathy. It's also known as European style osteopathy, but in most countries they simply call it osteopathy. So osteopathy basically is the name for two different independent health professions. One is exactly like medicine, another that does surgery and uh, uh, prescribes medications and so on, and the other type uses just hands for treating musculoskeletal and other conditions of the body. Uh, any school, as I mentioned, around the world uh, that uh, teach osteopathy is the European style of osteopathy. Now, there are different types of education offered around the world, and that depends mainly to the scope of practice manual osteopaths are allowed to work under in each specific jurisdiction. Uh, in United Kingdom and Australia, the osteopathic education is four years full time and leads to a bachelor's degree in UK, something like a Bachelor of Science in Osteopathic Medicine or Bachelor of Osteopathic Medicine. In Australia, something like Bachelor of Applied Sciences in Osteopathy. Uh, in the UK and Australia, they have full scope of practice, meaning they can offer medical diagnosis, they can read x-rays and uh, perform diagnostic imaging uh, and uh, so on, and order la lab tests and so on. In other countries, the scope of practice is limited to hands-on manual therapy and as such, there is no need for medical diagnosis or diagnostic imaging or laboratory tests to be taught to students. Therefore, those educations are shorter than the four-year full-time that is offered in the United Kingdom and Australia. Uh, for example, in Canada, the a DOMP is offered Diploma in Osteopathic Manual Practice, and the program in Canada usually is about two, uh, 2,000 hours of education, that is offered either to one year full time or three to five years part time by different schools in Canada. Uh, the same in uh, uh, a lot of European countries that they offer diploma program. The most common degrees issued by these schools that teach osteopathy is DO. But there is a confusion here because DO means different things. Uh, there are three different types of DO. One is DO, short for Doctor of Osteopathy. This is for reserved for osteopathic physicians in the U.S. And those schools that teach osteopathic medicine, they offer it. And it means basically somebody who has the same rights as a medical doctor in the U.S. can work exactly like them, perform surgery or prescribe medications. There's another DO called Diploma in Osteopathy that is offered in Europe and Latin America and Asia and uh, also in the province of Quebec in Canada. And that's a diploma program that can range anywhere from one year to four year full time depending on to which country teaches it. And then there is another DO which is Doctor of Osteopathy but this time it's in manual osteopathy is offered in Spain for example by National University of Medical Sciences in Madrid, Spain. Then there are other degrees, master's degrees in osteopathy. The, the National University of Medical Sciences 
in Florida, U.S. U.S. offers a Ph.D. program in osteopathic manual practices, the only university in U.S. offering manual osteopathic education. So these are, uh, and uh, as I mentioned, Canada offers DOMP, and DOMP is a purely Canadian title uh, that is copyrighted by National Academy of Osteopathy, in, which is based in Toronto. These are the different type of osteopathic education. So you can either uh, have a osteopathic medicine education. You can have a four years full time education in UK, UK, uh, Australia, and elsewhere. Or you can have a diploma program in uh, in manual osteopathy in Canada and elsewhere. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. It's a beautiful day. Have a wonderful day wherever you are and until next time, bye.